All right, well, let's chat for a moment about content areas and custom content in your headers and footers that you guys will be designing. I'm gonna pop into this template that I've got set up here and chat for a moment about these content areas because these will be the primary um, elements that you use as little entry points into your bars to place any sort of custom markup or functionality that doesn't currently exist in this set of elements that we have already. So we'll start with this content area. I'm gonna add that and inspect it. And you can see once we open it up that it is quite literally a text area for you to place some content. And the only real styling options you get are a place to add an ID or a class, which you would need to then use to style yourself. And then of course you get the responsive controls to show and hide that as necessary. But truly this element is what you will wanna use anytime you have a place where you need to, um, again, put maybe a short code, put a piece of JavaScript that maybe is populating some markup on your page, or even just for you as a designer or developer, if you have um, just an idea in your head of something you wanna create that isn't currently quite possible with the elements that we have, this will be the place you wanna do it because there is um, nothing to this element other than what you put into it and style with it. Now what's kind of nice about these next three, the content area, drop down, modal, and off canvas, if I add those really fast, is that for each one of these, you, you still get that entry point, but now your entry point is in a new place and it's just where that partial, that particular partial is. So if you haven't seen any of the partial videos we've done already on um, the drop downs, modals, and off canvas areas, definitely check that out. But what you're really getting here for free, air quotes, is this toggle and a drop down, or the toggle and the modal, or your toggle and the off canvas area. And so what's great about that is you now have um, a little foundation that you can style and get this set up just the way you want to house whatever content it is that you might wanna see in that area. Again, you might want a little you know, email opt-in form for a subscriber list you have. And that could work great in any one of these contexts. And what's nice is that you don't have to worry about, you know, setting up a custom dropdown or setting up a custom modal that is fully responsive and works everywhere. You have these partials that you know work um, and that you're familiar with using in other contexts of the builder, but you basically just get a little blank slate um, for that content output to do whatever you need there. So that's a very handy and useful tool. Now regarding a couple examples of how you might use um, that main content area, if I were to just add another content area back, and I'm actually gonna go up to my bar. I'll make that, so I'm getting rid of my outer space, and I'm just gonna make this height auto for now, just so it can kind of take on whatever content I throw at it. I've got a couple examples here that I um, downloaded and we can work with, but these are perfect spots for you to place um, a slider. So we've got that in, If we save it, go to the front of the site. You'll see that we have our full height slider here. They can easily go down into our content. And again, pair this with um, different layouts and bars above and below, there is um, really no limitation to what you can't accomplish um, with these tools at your disposal. So again, you might add another bar with a container, fill that space equally, get rid of that. Come in here, I'll add another content area. And here's just another full width slider that we've got. So again, I'm just layering these one on top of the other, but you can play with whatever you need. And, and some of this depends too on the um, way the slider is set up, if you're using Rev Slider or whatever plugin you're using in that particular bar. Now let's say, um, let me add a bar in the middle here. 
And let's say we want let's say we wanted this look. So what we're really kind of creating here is, you know, maybe in the old headers for X with your options, you know, remember you had the above and below masthead options for sliders. Well, maybe you're trying to recreate that look. Um, and I know these sliders are a bit over the top for that particular purpose, but so imagine you've got your slider above, below. We've got a new bar here. I'm just going to set that to auto again. We will add a container. content area now let's grab and again I just set this up very quickly in the back end um, to demonstrate so there's nothing nothing crazy here but there's my uber menu now from uh, the back end and it's probably not showing up because of a Z index thing I bet there we go so Really quick and easily, you can see how you can use those content areas to inject little short codes into the output of your site, set up things the way you need. Um, it's a great thing to use for stuff like Uber menu, for your sliders, and very quickly setting up um, little bits of custom content that are outside the current scope of the elements that we offer. So hopefully you guys found that useful, and we look forward to bringing you all some new videos very soon.